so I uh, just wanted to, to encourage you guys out there just uh, with how powerful the gospel is and how the gospel um, really transforms is the power of God to change people's lives and uh, I remember the day that, um, that uh, Mary heard the gospel and she um, she received it um, and I hope that her testimony will, will encourage you. So Mary, um, can you share a little bit about how was it the first time you heard the gospel and what was what was your response the first time you heard the gospel? Okay, the first time I heard the gospel. Mm. Really? I heard it but I was not so much interested in it. Mm. Not so much interested to receive Christ. Mm. Yeah, because I was the type of the way many people say I was baptized from there mm. and I did many things from there. Mm. So that's why I was not so much interested in being born again because mm. even there was no there was no one to tell me mm. the reality about Christ, mm. about mm. receiving Christ, so I was not so much interested in it. Mm. 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 Okay. And then someone came later on, or you just took some time to think about it. Like, how is it? How did you take that step? After that, mm. after the first gospel I had, mm, mm. it was always in my heart because before I was having many dreams mm. that was disturbing me. Mm. Sometimes I could fight much when I'm when I'm dreaming mm, with mm, devils mm, but always someone always speak to me mm, when I'm dreaming mm, they always give me things like sword like that when I'm fighting from nowhere I just find mm, it mm, then I fight like that so mm, I begin to think I say hey really I need to be born again mm, mm, yeah so I came to David Mm. I said, David, today I want to be, I want to get born again. Mm. Because I was thinking that when you just repeat the prayer, mm. then you are now safe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when I came to him, I said, David, today I want to, I want to be safe. Mm. Because mm. I heard that when you repeat the prayer, you raise your hand up, then everything is now finished. Mm. You wait for only the baptism and it's whole now. Yeah. So I came to him, he shared with me some gospel. Yes, because he, he was the one who always advised me, so mm. I really did that. I kneeled down, I repeat the prayer, then we pray. Mm. Mm. So after, then you came, mm. yeah. Mm. So I begin to hide the gospel from you. Mm. It was now the second one that was very powerful. Even when you were preaching, mm. I was really so interested. Mm. When you were preaching, I feel like, they say very, very heavy, so much heavy, the wind, like, it's like just the wind was blowing so mm. heavily mm. on me that even can blow me off. Mm. Then I say, wow, God, it is, this is really you. I need to receive Christ. Amen. Today I've understood that if you want to get saved, you first need to repent. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you need to repent. Turn yes. away completely from your sin. Yes. Then I was like thinking of, ah. I've been doing many things. Mm. I've mm. done much mm. since mm. my childhood up to now. I've done a lot before mm. God. Yeah. So God is not pleased with me. Even me, in my heart, before I get born again, mm. I was having deep love for Christ. I mm. wanted to know Him, but no one can tell me that. Mm. Hey, you need to be born again. No one can tell me that one. Day. No one can explain for me how I can be mm. safe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the way Christ did it. Yeah. So, through you, mm. I became safe. Mm. Now, I have the Holy Spirit mm. that can lead me, mm. can direct me, tell mm. me what to do. Amen. Even though mm. something may be coming toward me, but I fight, I can fight. Mm. The Lord can fight with me. You see, so things are going like that. Mm. Mm. Yes, Thank you so I much. thank God for that one day. The first day I received the Holy Spirit, the first day I got baptized. Even when we were still there, when I was still in the water, 
when you, were, you people were speaking in tongue, I said from myself, I can speak it. <laughs> By that moment, I said, I can speak it. When I came out, mm. hey, these people are speaking. But I cannot open my mouth yeah. at that moment that, yeah. to speak it out. But yeah. I feel yeah. very heavily in my heart that I can speak it. Mm. That's mm. why when I came back home, I was so amazed. I mm. was so happy, mm. so mm. much excited. When you prayed, I received the Holy Spirit. I found myself speaking in tongues. From nowhere, I'm speaking mm. much as if I was speaking it before. Mm. Up to now, things are going home. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mary. Can you share a little bit about how is your life now? Like, uh, you've been set free from sin. You've received the Holy Spirit. Um, how, how do you live your life, uh, especially when it comes to uh, just ministering to people, praying for people? Uh, can, you, can you say a little bit about, just from what you remember, how many people uh, got saved or how many people uh, heard the gospel and then they responded to the gospel just the way you have? I remember hmm. uh, with the people we baptized, eh? was something like six people, six people. Yeah. Mm. after my baptism mm. and they uh, received Holy Spirit mm. so I discussed with them much about the testimonies mm. yeah well, the life I've been living before mm. and mm. the life I'm living you shared your testimony with them yeah I mm. share my testimonies mm. with them mm. uh, after all that uh, all, after all those testimonies I mm. shared with them, the way I was living, the condition I was going, a temptation like that, I mm. shared with them. Mm. Really, they received Christ. Mm. 